This is a Japanese bullet train. If you want to get somewhere in this country fast, then it's got you covered. An engineering marvel formed in the aftermath of the Second World War, it's carried more than 10 billion passengers at speeds of up to 320 kilometers an hour and helped create the world's third largest economy. But that's not enough for Japan, and the country is now building the world's fastest passenger train, a system that'll move at twice the speed of the bullet trains and cut journey times in half, all by doing away with one fairly fundamental component, wheels. Using magnetic levitation, these new trains will hover 10 centimeters above the track, eliminating the friction that comes with being in contact with the rails. But the new line has proved deeply controversial, grappling with delays, skyrocketing construction costs, and a fierce debate over environmental concerns. Now nearing completion, the world is awaiting to see whether the project will successfully hover above its challenges and make a quantum leap for transportation, or prove a step too far. Japan kind of knows a thing or two about trains. The country was the first in the world to develop high-speed rail, with the construction of the Tokaido Shinkansen line between Tokyo and Osaka in 1959. Back then, the Japanese people, and indeed the rest of the world, were skeptical of the country's massive investment into rail, and many thought it would soon be outdated in an exciting new era of air travel and highways. Nevertheless, the first high-speed line opened in October 1964, ready for Tokyo's first hosting of the Olympics. It cut the travel time between Japan's two biggest cities from nearly seven hours to just under four. Proving an instant success, the line served more than 100 million passengers in less than three years. That same trip on a modern bullet train now takes two and a half hours. When the new Chaoshan Kansen line opens, it'll be done in just 67 minutes. At full speed, the Chaoshan Kansen trains will move at 500 kilometers an hour, although a 2015 test run hit a world record 603 kilometers an hour. Now, it's pretty widely agreed that those kind of speeds are basically impossible for a conventional bullet train to hit. They eventually will become limited by the friction that's created by their wheels. To solve that problem, Japanese engineers looked back in time to a technology that's actually been around since the early 1900s. Magnetic levitation, also known as maglev. In fact, concepts for maglev trains date back to the 60s, and the world's first and so far only commercial maglev line has been in operation since 2004, running between Shanghai's city center and its airport. The Central Japan Railway Company, or JR Central, has modernized this technology using superconducting magnets. Electromagnets are cooled to minus 269 degrees, allowing the trains to levitate higher above the tracks. But the trains need to be moving at speed before the magnets come in. Once the train reaches 150 km an hour by itself, maglev kicks in and the carriage is lifted off its rubber wheels. The train then interacts with a set of coils in the track, one used to levitate its mass and the other to propel it forward. Now, without the wheels, the carriages can travel at incredible speeds. The trains are also completely autonomous, controlled by the track rather than a driver, a measure which, it's claimed, makes collisions or accidents far less likely. The Tokyo to Nagoya line has been under construction since 2014 and is expected to open in 2027. A further extension linking Tokyo to Osaka will begin to be built straight afterwards and open as early as 2037, 10 years ahead of schedule. Unlike the existing bullet trains whose tracks hug the Japanese coastline, Chaoshin Kansen will be 90% underground, cutting beneath the Southern Alps. 256 kilometers of the 285 kilometer long line will be in tunnels. The reasons for this are twofold. Firstly, maglev trains work better when they travel in the straightest line possible, and burrowing beneath the mountains avoids Japan's more earthquake-prone coast. Although in taking this approach, JR Central has ended up digging some of the deepest tunnels Japan has ever seen. 
That's raised a number of environmental concerns, especially in the Shizuoka prefecture, where tunneling threatens the basin of the Oi River, a major water source for the region. While environmental studies have found that the risk of disturbing the basin is low, local governments have criticised those reports for being, in their words, insufficient and hasty. The incumbent governor of Shizuoka even ran on a platform opposing the railway, successfully winning an election in June 2021 where Chaoshin Kansen was a key issue. This controversy, combined with unexpected hurdles in the construction of new stations, has taken the project's cost from $13.7 billion to a staggering $64 billion, making it one of the most expensive megaprojects ever undertaken in the country. The hefty price tags now leading many in Japan to question whether the new line is worth it at all. Indeed, there are quite a few drawbacks to Japan's maglev. Once completed, it'll be more expensive to run than regular high-speed trains because it consumes more energy, though you could argue that it will enable greater economic growth. The trains also won't be able to hold as many passengers within their smaller carriages, and they won't travel as frequently. Traditional bullet trains run on the Tokyo Osaka line roughly every three minutes. Because maglev track switches take more time, it'll only be possible to run a maglev train once every 10 minutes. Japanese rail companies have also previously been able to make a lot of money by selling their technology overseas. But a noticeable new player has emerged on the scene since the advent of the first bullet train back in 1964. China It's now the king of high-speed rail, and the country is home to two-thirds of the world's entire high-speed network. While none of its intercity lines are maglev, China is beginning to develop its own version of the technology. In July 2021, it tested a maglev train that reached 600 km an hour, almost breaking the record set by Japan. That train could theoretically go from Beijing to Shanghai in three and a half hours, faster than the four and a half hours it takes by plane. China doesn't need to buy Japan's technology, and the rest of the world is still playing catch up with regular high-speed rail. So why is Japan so intent on building this maglev line, and why did the government grant JR Central a loan to finish it 10 years ahead of schedule? If Chaoshin Kansen is successful, then it has the potential to create a commutable distance between the country's two largest cities, linking the regions of Tokyo and Osaka in a pretty profound way. It's a prize that's becoming increasingly alluring around the world. Megacities are systematically being made of China's Pearl River Delta through strategically placed infrastructure, while less formally the boundaries between cities in the northeastern United States, from Washington DC up to Boston, are being blurred. It's the same in Western Europe. Merging major cities like this has the potential to create economic powerhouses on a scale we've never seen before. When the bullet train first began construction more than half a century ago, the world ridiculed it. But it ultimately allowed Japan to grow, connecting regions and sharing prosperity. In the decade that followed its opening, Japan went from an economy that was just 10% the size of the US to the world's second largest. Of course, we'll need to wait and see if this new line can levitate the country to further success. But moving people between major cities in record-breaking time would open up a whole new world. If you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.